Hey guys, welcome to my video. If this is your first time to my channel, my name is Jen and I do a lot of unboxing videos. Mostly styling services, but occasionally sometimes shopping hauls. If you are interested in watching me pay too much money for clothes, then hit the subscribe button because I have a lot of boxes coming up. That I open a variety of different types of subscription boxes from the well-known Stitch Fix to some lesser well-known items. So hopefully you like to see a variety of what's out there, what's available when it comes to styling services. I'm starting to try out some of the other more well-known subscription boxes that are similar to Stitch Fix, both in price and brands and things like that. So I just opened my very first Transcend box and now I am trying out my very first Mix and Match box. Now I believe Mix and Match might be slightly cheaper than Stitch Fix, but overall I think it's probably rather comparable. They do have, they have a couple different options. You can do just a regular monthly subscription for a $25 styling fee that does apply to anything that you do buy. Since this is my first box, I was able to try it for just $5, so that's exciting. They also have another box where they send you four items, they're yours to keep, and it's an upfront $105. I would love to try that sometime because it seems like a great deal to get $25 per item. But I figured I should be working with a stylist first to get my style figured out before I'm actually just outright buying things. So I'm going to try this maybe for a couple of months, just a regular monthly pay for what you keep type box for maybe a couple of months and then maybe try switching over. We shall see. For this box, you do have direct contact with a stylist. So my stylist emailed me and asked me a couple of questions. This did take a few weeks. They say since it's your first box, it does take a little bit longer. So I'd say it took them about three weeks to ship this out, but they warn you that ahead of time. So totally understand. I'd rather them take their time and get my style figured out than not bother and send it to me right away. Let's go ahead and get to get started. I'll say this is a rather heavy box, so I'm excited to see what's in here. So while their box is nothing to write home about, there's nothing pretty about this box. It's just a whole lot of tape on it. I'll say their bundle is very cute. So I really like this. They have sent whole envelope worth of paperwork. I will look at that later, but I think we should go ahead and get into this. Okay, let's unwrap this and see what we have in our first bundle here. Ooh, maybe some dresses. First off, we have this blue and white flower dress and that is just I think it's really gorgeous it does not have pockets kind of wish it did but I just think that's a very pretty dress love the white and blue I think those look gorgeous and then next up we have uh, I saw, I think I saw this blazer in Southern Yankees box and I just thought it was really gorgeous. So it is a blush colored blazer and it has this tie here in the front. I think this is super cute. I hope it fits. I noticed it's a small instead of an extra small and usually I'm an extra small on everything and I especially like my blazers to be fitted. So hopefully it'll fit, and if not, hopefully I can get a different size, but gorgeous, gorgeous blazer. Next bundle. Okay, first up we have this tank, which has a little choker neck on it, which is very cute. It has blue and white and kind of a pinkish purplish. Usually I'm not into very busy patterns at all and this would be too busy, but it's only three colors and I think it's really pretty. I like this shirt a lot. Pair it with some white shorts or white skinnies and I think that would just be really fabulous. Next up we have a mixed print tank and again 
and I just really love this. So you've got the black front and then up here and on the back you have the black and white stripes with the pink flowers on it and I just think this is really adorable. Love that. Next we have a simple black and white striped shirt has some it's a v-neck with some button detail on the front which I really like this looks like it's kind of more of a form-fitting type shirt down here and I've gotten really into kind of looser tops which I love because I can eat really big meals and not have to worry about my stomach so we'll see this might be more form-fitting than I like and then we have a white cami with a crisscross front just a nice soft material though i do have a lot of white camis i think the crisscross front could be a very nice detail to wear under things and then we have some these are some i wouldn't call these denim what is this um Okay, these are 55% linen and 45% cotton shorts. They're going to be high-waisted, I'm assuming, but they're cute. I don't really know what I feel about them, but we'll see once they're on me. And then we have kind of this, I don't know, bag top shorts that are medium wash. I've seen these around and kind of been mixed on this top. I, I, I like this top on a skirt, but I don't know how I feel about it on a pair of shorts or pants. So we'll have to see with them on. First off, I have the blazer and the dress on. This blazer is so gorgeous. I love the way it flares out. I just think it is incredibly gorgeous. The sleeves are just long on me. So that's not great and overall it's kind of a little bit just baggy up here. So I am going to see if I can size down on this because if it, I can then I think it's definitely a keeper. Such a gorgeous blazer. If I take off this blazer you will see the dress underneath it. I love this dress. It just it fits really well on top. It flares out in a cute way and it's super comfortable i can wear whatever bra i want to with it i love the white and the blue i think those look really great together this dress is a winner in my book okay next outfit next up we have these linen shorts here they're actually quite interesting so we've got these buttons uh, along the front but you also so your pockets here they go under the panel so my fingers are actually touching each other so that's very unique so i feel like putting things in your pocket probably aren't the most secure thing but they're cute i just i feel like they're just not the world's most flattering short i just feel okay about them the cami is fine it's just a regular cami i thought it was going to be more of a loose cami but it's a tighter one um it's fine okay next up next we have this black and white short sleeve shirt it's very lightweight i love the button detail that's up here it's it's not super loose but it's not also i thought it was going to be super clean it's not that either so i really like this top i think it's cute <laughs> so listen I know these shorts are trendy, I guess, but they are the least flattering short of all time. I just, they're baggy, the, the medium wash is not cute on it, and just, no, no, this is, this is not me. So, the shorts are out. The top, however, which a little difficult to see how it lays in the front due to the gigantic messily put together bow that I did uh, but I love the top the top is very cute fits well if the price is right it will be a keeper okay I believe I believe I just have one top left okay 
in the last top, the blue and pinkish purple top. Really like it. I think it's a very cute top. Very happy with this. Put them with my new Old Navy shorts, which I did size down in. If you saw my Old Navy haul video, I had a size two and they were too big. So I got a zero and I think they fit great. So let's look at prices now. Okay, let's go through all this paperwork. There's a whole packet here. And first you have your mailer for sending back the items you do not want to keep. I love that they, most of these boxes send you the bag to return stuff in and it's literally a manner, a manner of putting the stuff in there and sticking it in your mailbox or dropping it at the post office or UPS. So I love the convenience of these. Okay, so first off, we have a note from my stylist. It says, Hi Jennifer, thank you for choosing mixedmatchbox.com to style you. We hope you love it. I've included in your style box the following styles for you. And she lists, off, lists all the, the styles and their sizes. She said, I included the blue and white dress since I saw something similar on your Pinterest board. Okay, awesome. My Stitch Fix stylist has mentioned maybe my Pinterest once. So I don't know if she keeps going back there and check it, checking it, but I appreciate that this styles did go to my Pinterest. Same with the Promesia, Promesia Black Solid with Stripe and Floral. The Blazers is, an ours, is ours and that was on your board as well. I know you were looking for shorts you love, so I included two pairs along with three tops that I think can work with both shorts. I know you are an extra small, but I've included size small for pieces that I know run small. I hope you like what I've chosen and I look forward to your feedback. Also, to give you a rundown, the way it works is you have five days to decide what you're keeping or returning from the date of receipt. When you decide, you email your stylist and let me know your decisions. From there, I notify the billing department and they check you out. Provides her email address and her name. My stylist is Dana. And, uh... And so she wants me to include my thoughts on each item and um, the returns this is for UPS so they put that in red and bold so that I don't stick it in my own mailbox and hope that the Postal Service will do it so and then she said I look forward to styling you again okay next piece of paperwork is the prices so let's go ahead and get started all right Blue and white dress. This is the Gilly Blue A-line dress, and this is $46. I think that's a reasonable price for this dress, and I will be keeping it. The crisscross tank that we had here, this is the Wishless Ivory crisscross tank, and this is $28. The strange panel front shorts, this is the MO Vint blue denim high-waisted shorts. These are $65. The mixed print tank, this is called the Promesa Black Sod with Stripe and Floor Design at neck and back. This is $32. Belted shorts, these are the Wishless Paper Bag Belted Denim Shorts and these are $46. The striped Ribbed tee is the L-E-L-I-S Casual Striped T-Shirt, and it is $30. This gorgeous blazer here is $50. And then this keyhole top here, this is the Skyser Blue Cobalt Border Printed Top with Keyhole Front, and it is $42. So... Okay, taking into consideration price and fit and all that, I am going to be keeping the dress, I think, for $46. It's a great deal, and I love it. I am also going to be keeping the mixed print tank because, again, gorgeous, $32. It's a little bit higher than I want to pay for a tank, but that's fine. And then this dressy tank was one that I really liked, but... I don't know that I want to pay $42 for it. I like it, but I don't know that I love it that much. So I think I'm 
going to be keeping these two plus attempting to slice size down on this blazer because again gorgeous so we will see how that works out I would say this was a very successful box I can't wait to try it again this is considered the go for it box where you just try before you buy them and pay for what you want to keep I may try to take a chance at some point again where you buy four items for $105 it seems like a great deal I'm gonna go through the rest of the paperwork here real quick um, first of all they have information on their three-month payment plan if you need a payment plan for your clothing items then they have a description of the go for it box versus the take a chance box I forgot to mention that if you do keep five or more styles you do get 25% off I may do a little bit of math here just to see if I should change my approach on any of this and then information on canceling your subscription if you want to and that is great so everything you need to know essentially is in this packet here again I had a great time I hope you enjoyed this if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit my referral link below if you would like to give it a try and I believe you get your first box for just five dollars if you do that plus I believe I I get five dollars for that please subscribe if you would like to see future videos and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified every time I post okay thanks for watching my video feel like I've been talking non-stop for the last hour as I've filmed a couple of videos. I'm exhausted and it's actually time to go to work now. So, thanks for stopping by and hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Okay, thanks. Bye.